Shout out to C. Hova. She's directing me from the bathroom, yo. That's real love. I appreciate it, babe. <laughs> Man, we back again with Bang Budget and New Gear Reviews to help you get the best Bang for your tech dollars. This is a quick, super quick Sunday tech talk. I ain't talked to my people in a minute, in a while. It feels like forever. Real quick, man, it's been a it's been a tough couple of weeks here. You know, me and the Van Gloria C Hova been enduring, but it's, we, we making it through, man. That's why you ain't seen a lot of videos here. That's why I haven't done a lot of stuff on the channel, on the social medias, all of that. But I want to say for the people that have sent some love and prayers and all of that, I appreciate that. It really, it really you know, has meant a lot. I just want to make this video real quick to talk about my transitioning PC. I've said it before here in videos, my main PC back here is an old, I just got it tuned perfectly the way that I wanted for me to do my thing. It's an i7 4770K with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I got a bunch of hard drives in there. I got one main SSD as my boot drive. I got another SSD that I keep all my current projects on that I'm working on. I got two SSDs that I have in RAID 0 set up for cache. I got a four terabyte hard drive that I keep a bunch of files on. And then I have all of that being backed up onto my 32 terabyte WD Cloud. WD My Cloud NAS. And I also have another video about another 20 terabytes of backup storage that I have coming pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe and check that out. If you saw last year, I built a system based around the Ryzen 5 1600. Now, a lot of people ask me when I built that computer, why don't you use this as your computer is much newer, much better specs. And one of the main reasons I didn't switch to this computer is because of RAM. It's not necessary to have 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it just helps so much when you're doing like timeline rendering and when you're using like After Effects and other projects. I do a lot of music editing where I might have a bunch of virtual instruments and different things going on and more RAM, the better. Plus, like my homie Epos Vox, I probably keep like 90 tabs in Chrome open at the same time I'm doing all of this. So more RAM is better. At the time that Ryzen machine, as dope as it was, I only had an eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM because man, let's be honest, RAM prices are still nuts. It's ridiculous. And it's gotten a little bit better, but not too much. But what I'm gonna be doing is taking that system upgrading a little bit and making it the transition from my old PC to this new one to eventually a new maxed out baller build for me going forward. What I'm focusing on is that Ryzen 1600. Now the reason I'm still going with that over getting one of the newer Ryzen chips because right now you can get these on sale used for about 100 $130 for a six core, 12 thread overclockable processor is ridiculous. Now what we're gonna be doing is pairing that up with this, the RX 580. Now the, another reason why I'm using this one as well is because prices are starting to fall on these GPUs. Maybe less than less than two or three months ago, it was ridiculous. People were selling these for four or $500. Now you can get them closer to not totally MSRP, but much closer. Like I said, always check out the used markets. There's a lot of people who are selling off, people who thought they were gonna get into mining, who really didn't do anything, selling those cards off real cheap, or people who are just looking to upgrade. There are always people trying to upgrade to bigger and better cards, and you can find used cards for cheap. So what we're gonna be doing is, I'm not gonna tell you all the parts that I have, because I'm still waiting on something coming in from one of my sponsors, but I got pretty much all the parts here. Sad thing is, man, we're about to leave. A couple hours after this video is posted, we're about to hit the road. It's not sad at all because this is a vacation well needed for the folks, for the fam, but we're gonna hit the road. We're heading to Denver. It's gonna be some fun. It's gonna be a lot of tomfoolery going 
down. But once I come back, man, we're gonna get this build put together. It's gonna be one of the nicer looking builds that I've done here on this channel. Some RGB, some custom stuff. So what I need everybody to do, if you made it this far, is follow me on Twitter at DVZN Media. Make sure that you're paying attention over the next week or two because there's gonna be some giveaways, gonna be some exclusives, all types of good stuff. You're gonna be able to follow me on this trip. We're gonna go have fun, see a concert, get out of Texas for a little bit and get it in. This is Sunday's Tech Talk. This is what I wanna know from you guys. What current specs are you rocking in your PC? If you're looking to build a new computer or you don't even have one, what kind of specs are you looking to get? What would you want in your perfect build right now? All right, make sure you leave a comment down below. It's your Ken Fold Dookie. I'm gonna get up out of here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and always remember to holler at your boy. How was that?